What's up everybody, I'm Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. In today's video, we'll be solving another medium level lead code problem, problem number 215, also called as Kate largest elements in an array. Now, we'll be solving this with the help of two methods. One is with the brute force that is sorting and other one is with the maxi. So without the further ado, let's get started. Now the problem states that uh, we are given an integer array nums and an integer k and we need to return the kth largest element in that array. Now here the kth largest element uh, is in the sorted order. Okay, so not the kth distinct element. Now if we look at the examples, we have uh, the first example as the array including 3, 2, 1, 5, 6 and 4 and we need to return the second largest that is if we see here we have the 6 as the largest element so the second largest would be 5 that is why we return 5. Similarly in the second example we have the following given array and we need to return the fourth largest so the maximum is 6 then we have two fives so we are done with 3 and the fourth element is 4 so we return 4. The constraints that we are given here uh, is that, uh, let me just clear my screen. The constraints that we are given here is k is from 1 to 10 to the power 4 and nums of i that is every element of the vector is from minus 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 4. Now let us look at how we can approach the solution of the problem. Now the simplest approach or the most naive or brute force approach that you can say is that we take the vector and we just sort it because we need kth largest so after sorting we will have them from uh, lowest to the highest that is the largest element and then we can take the kth largest that is from the back side we take the kth element and we return that so that is what we are basically doing here in the most native approach that is we sort the element now here the sort is the std sort that we have and then we just return the kth element from the last of the vector so that's the first approach now for the previous approach that we saw uh, with the help of sorting uh, it takes basically time for sorting which is the maximum time that is n log n and after that we just return the kth largest element okay so basically the time complexity would be o of n log n now to optimize that we can use the data structure called as max heap and in c++ we implement max heap with priority queues now if you do not know what max heaps are uh, what max heaps are are basically they store the elements in uh, in a particular manner if if it is on max heap then we we always get uh, whenever we want to get an element from the max heap we always get the largest element and similarly in the min heap we get the smallest element okay so if we uh, keep on pushing the elements for from this vector that we are given into the max heap then firstly whenever we pop any element from that we will get the largest element that is 6 similarly we if we keep on popping we can get the second largest that is 5 and if we keep on doing that we will get uh, in the decreasing order okay so that is what the max heap is for so how we implement that solution is basically we take a priority queue and we uh, push all the elements of the priority uh, of the vector into that priority queue. Now in the priority queue, it basically uh, saves it in the tree format. So if you want to learn more, you can check it on Google. You can get how that is uh, internally implemented. So basically the first element, the top element of that tree would be six. That is the largest. And if we pop, we can get the second largest element. Okay. So that is what we are doing. We are running a for loop and then till K because we need the Kth largest element. And if uh, we are at the Kth element, that is K minus one, because it is a zero based indexing, we return the top of the element. Okay. Otherwise what we do is we just basically uh, pop the element until we reach that Kth element. And if uh, we have the kth element and we do not do any bounce error then we should be returning uh, at this point itself we will not be reaching this point but this is just to make sure that we do not get error while submitting our code okay so that's the solution let's quickly run it i have ran it already and it was giving me 10 okay now it gave me 3 millisecond which is faster than 92.32 percent and Memory uses as 10.5 less than 9.65% solution. So that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one. 